Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Today I am going to be working on another short story. I came up with two character names last night before I went to bed. I was sitting here watching some YouTube. I think it was iNabber that I was watching. I like his style of content and I ended up coming up with two names that I think are really cute and I have kind of a vision of who I want to visualize as these characters because that is something that I like to do as a writer. I love picking actors and actresses that I love and know or know and love and I love to put them into the shoes of my characters and I think I have another Christmas short story or I'm actually planning to have this be a novella and my challenge for my other challenge for this month is to write not only the short story that I just wrote for the last vlog or the vlog before but to write a novella so this is going to be one video for this novella and I actually need to double check and see how many words a novella means for me to meet the word count and I think I'm going to watch the Christmas Chronicles with my husband where I think we're either going to start the Santa Claus series together even though I started watching it with my mom um we've now watched all of the movies together and he, he now sees why I love the series so much because it's so magical to me and it's just I love Tim Allen I love all the characters I they worked such a good job with everything and it's been a movie that's been in my life since I was born pretty much um so I have to watch that movie almost every single year at least once and we finally did that so that is checked off for the movies list because I have a whole list of movies that I want to watch once it got to closer to the summer I was like I can watch this I can watch this I can watch this I can watch this and the list just grew um I might also have a Harry Potter marathon because I haven't done that in a long time and that series even though it has the controversies with JK Rowling I have my own opinions on it um it's still something that's a part of my life um because my mom doesn't want to just take it completely away after it already being such a big part of both of our really both of our lives and our relationship um as like mother daughter daughter and yeah, so I might do a Harry Potter marathon, but I think I'll leave that for closer to Christmas. But I have a whole list of movies that I want to watch, and I think it was me seeing them in each vlog <laughs> each day. But for this one, it might be the Santa Claus TV show that I'll start with my husband now, and or because they have a few more episodes, and or starting off with the first movie in the Christmas Chronicles series and writing the beginning of my Christmas novella because I'm feeling very much in the Christmas mood. I want to create something that is even more Christmassy than the story, the story that I wrote for Kyle's Purgatory that kind of took a dark turn. Um, yeah, so I have my chicken nuggets in the toaster oven and I just had my interview with Wendy's and down the way and I'm hoping that went well. I really want a job. I want this job so I can do more fun stuff with my channel. Um, and like actually review stuff because I want to review like newer journal makers and stuff like that. And that would be very helpful. So hopefully that interview went well. I'm going to call Little Caesars as well because I had an interview with them um a couple weeks ago and I tried calling twice already in the past couple weeks and nothing so if this is going to lead to a dead, dead end at this final call then I'll just stop hoping for that job um 
yeah that's going to be this video i am planning on the rest of this vlog just being kind of a montage um starting the day off a little bit late just because like i said our sleep schedules have not been the best so my husband's thinking it up right now and fruit loops is starting to be loud but i'm going to be in here i'm going to grab my tablet so that i can watch stuff because even though i have my laptop i like watching stuff on my tablet so much more um i'm gonna put my slipper <laughs> my grandma made this slipper and i have the other one somewhere yeah this is not just two and one and no it's not it's just one slipper um this color is one of my favorite colors actually and there is something on that anyway that goes down there it is currently 3 6 p.m and i'm just going to have lunch and breakfast together in one and then i'll try and figure out how i can start this series and you guys will or not series this novella and you guys We'll see you. Hey guys, so I have my video for day five uploading right now, and so this is going to go up on the 7th, and this weekend might be a little bit different, just a heads up, because of the fact that we're going to Tahoe, or a little past Tahoe, for my cousin's wedding, and I'm going to film a little bit of it, at least like the drive there and filming Tahoe a little bit, but um probably won't have time for filming. I'll just film little clips and I'll probably put Saturday and Sunday together because I don't know if we're gonna have to stay overnight in my grandparents' hotel room. That's a siren. Or not. So that's just a little heads up. I don't know how this weekend is gonna go for Vlogmas vlogs, but I am happy that I'm doing Vlogmas because it gives me something to do. So on this is right here I have my character names for this novella and I'm going to look up right now those sirens are very close I don't know if you can hear that in the video how many words does a novella have on average. Um, average word count is, well that's for a novel. I need a novella. So anything under 50,000 words. So I'm thinking if I can make this at least a 30,000 word novella. So I'm going to put on the next page 
my new Christmas. wanted to do Christmas stories but I can never come up with anything because it always feels like everything has already come, been come up with and it's just been kind of like a meh thing for me to want to do um I'm gonna put the time And what I'm using is the mini composition notebooks. I think I got these either at the Dollar Tree or at CVS. Um, I do want to get more of these so that I can use my passports more because I don't want to keep making inserts. It's fun, but it really hurts my hands after a while. Even Stormy's like, what the heck is that noise? She's looking up. Um, so, just seems to me under 50,000 words, which some of my stories end up being under 50,000 words anyways, and now I need to come up with the title. Well, I need to come, come up with a plot. I have this kind of like journal idea, like, I really want to use that story for this project. I'm gonna put the actors. Actually, dream. Oh my gosh, work. Actress. I'm not going to say who. And it is not working. Dream. Actor. Oh, this is already looking cute. Okay, I'm sorry for the lighting. I have the window right here, but it's not even open. That's just how bright it is right now. Or at least it looks really bright. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this is like the creating the world type with me. Um, okay, let's do a line and then What do I want the story? I have a story idea where it's kind of a romance that happens within a journal shop because one of my like kind of hidden dreams is having my own journal shop with my own journal supplies. And that will not happen. <laughs> Cause I'm like, yeah, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Even if it's just happening online. Um, yeah, unless I can actually practice making love and journals and different types of journals, then this story isn't going to happen. But I want to come up with a Christmas Eve title because the store shop is called Our Shared Journal Journals. And I'm just kind of revamping it. And the characters are both 26. So this is going to be kind of like an adult contemporary romance novel um okay I put 
like the log line it's gonna be a love story in the journal shop that's as simple as I can make it I'm gonna take a break and come back and think about more I'm pretty sure if I we watch the movie later after my husband wakes up that I'm gonna be able to have way more inspiration because when I watch Christmas movies I normally have more inspiration so We are going to do this. I want it to be in like a village type of town. Um, small village. Oh, I just popped up with an idea because it's kind of perfect. A small village. I'll just. Or based in London. London, England. Those sirens are still going off. Okay, it's gonna be a small village near London, England, or <coughs> sorry, or actually in London, England. But that's actually perfect because of the actor that I chose for the lead male role. I feel like I want to come up with the friends names as well um i need to put the shop name shop name our shared journal like this is one of those story ideas that's a contemporary one that i always thought of like since high school or a bit after high school and I just haven't gotten around to trying it out to like actually trying to write it and so maybe kind of getting myself to do a little short novella of 30,000 words I think that can be a good thing for me um because I need like a happy story as a distraction from everything that's been going up in here uh, yeah. Okay, this is starting to come together in my mind a bit more, and I'm kind of excited. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this a little bit later. It's 3.42 p.m. right now on the 6th, and we're going to write another short story together. I'm kind of excited. I'll maybe I should do 20,000 words to 30,000 words. I'm not sure. I actually have a short story idea that's romantic. That's. Oh. You can probably see the wheels turning in my brain. Okay, this is probably going to be a bit of a long video since I'm going through the whole beginning process of creating a new story with you guys. I just thought this would be kind of a fun idea because I don't really have anything else to do besides a few chores that I need to get done and so it's also going to help me to stay awake and creative. So I will see you guys later. Hey everyone, so it's now 4.25 p.m. and I had to turn on the light because the sun was starting to go down and I didn't want it to get dark in here, but I have created three new characters for this novella and the reason why is because they're going to be kind of the support group for the main character or like the, it's the family of the main character. Um, the only person I haven't created for the main character is the dad, um, which actually I'm going to be going from the male's point of view, just because. Um, so I have 
one sister, which I think is going to be the middle sister, and then I have the dream actress as well. I'm just putting dream actress so that I know who I'm wanting to play or who I'm wanting to picture as the character when I write it. And then I have the mother and I have the actress for this as well. They're both from the same show because I really love the show and I love those two characters and their, uh, the actors and how they are bonded throughout the years that I've been watching this show in particular. And then I created the stepsister because I wanted to have a stepsister in here. Um, it kind of made sense. I'm kind of trying to have a variety of characters from different backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I have the younger sister who is the stepsister and I have the character as well. I'm kind of picturing her like Merida because I feel like with the snow that would be really a um, beautiful picture. Um, so I have those three characters and I have no title. I have four characters, or wait, okay, one second. And one, two, three, four, five characters in total as the main characters. And I don't have anything for the male lead, which I might, like I said, be going from his point of view. And I think, I really don't know his background yet because this story has always been from the female lead but I want it to be like this is going to be like an interracial or not interracial um what is it called two people from two very different backgrounds two very different races I want to be inclusive and I might have like different personality traits for the sisters as well um I'm still just kind of trying to plan it out and I don't want this video to be too long so what I'm going to do is have the last thing actually be the title um don't know what I want to title this because it's still like brand new as of last night and I'm kind of revamping a story that I wrote or came up with years ago and I kind of used a different short story for it and I still love that story and have it in my head. Um, it's a contemporary romance based in Paris and Although I could, I could have the characters be from London and then I could have them move, or not move to Paris, but take a trip to Paris. I have a cherry blossom liqueur. We literally had to go to Safeway in town because I liked this one more than the other two that we tried and they don't have it at Grocery Outlet or Save More. I don't really want to name it the shop name, and I was thinking of naming it like the Christmas Journal, and I might do that, because it kind of has a ring to it. Um, I don't know, I'm going to put a pin in that, so this is going to be for I thought I was going to burp, but I didn't. This is going to be part one of this creating a Christmas novella series. And I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five pages in my mini composition notebook for this story. 
Um, I'm gonna put down the possible title name. Possible novella title names. I'm just putting title names in case I end up coming up with more through the course of writing this novella. So I'm just gonna put number one with a check mark box and the Christmas journal. So this was part one of creating this new novella. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and seeing me kind of come up with the characters. All I do for the characters because I like coming up with them more while I'm writing them is when I go to create their profile I only do the hair, the skin, the eyes, and sometimes the height. Um, and then I pick who I imagine the characters looking like because when I pick an actor or actress that I know and love and have watched for most of my life, it is very easy for me to bring those characters to life in my head and I think I've explained this before but let me know if you do something similar. Um, yeah, this is the beginning beginning of a new story and I started creating this at 10 27 p.m. last night on vlogmas day five um so yeah that's when this was started and I hope you guys enjoyed this type of vlogmas video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please help me to reach my goal of 10 to 20 reviews and ratings on Amazon. I have all of my book titles down below, including my author name, um, down below. And I might change it to my new last name, I'm not sure, but I would really love to get these books more out there and by doing that, it really helps any indie author to get their books out there when you rate and review on Amazon or any other site that they're on. Mine are only on Amazon and I only have two that are paperback and one and the rest of them are all on Kindle. Um, and they're all fairly priced. So I would really love if you helped to share them, give them star ratings as well as reviewing. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in Vlogmas Day 7. Have a good week. I don't know, my brain's kind of mushy right now. <laughs> not mushy, that's weird. Okay, it's kind of not working right now. And Day 7 is going to be starting this novella and I'll use the potential. I'll use the work in progress title for that and who knows maybe this can be something that I can actually publish next year around Christmas time. I, I don't know. I've been thinking about that since I started this video because I got really really excited <laughs> and I was like wait we are going to Tahoe this weekend. I can maybe take a picture somehow of either me, although me wouldn't really work because the character is a different race than, than I am. Um, I don't know. I can figure out some sort of snowy picture that I can take because with it raining here, I'm pretty sure it's been snowing there. So I don't want this video to be too long. Thank you so much for watching. We're ending at 4.35 p.m. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.